Welcome to this video on initial value problems. So as you can see here, we are given an initial value problem. That is to say, we have a differential equation and we have the function that we're looking for at time zero. So y is a function of x. We are being given that the derivative of y is 3x squared y to the power of 3. And we know that if we plug in x equals 0 into y, we find minus 5. We need to solve the differential equation, use this initial condition to find the solution. As always, try to do this yourself. Pause the video, see if you can find one of the answers A through B. Only one of them is correct. Maybe you have to do a little bit of rewriting to find the form that is being uh, written on the slide here. Um, so pause the video, try to find it yourself, and then restart it to see how you could solve this initial value problem. So let's see, what do we have? We have the differential equation, and I'm going to write the derivative as dy dx equals 3x squared y to the power 3. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this differential equation. That is to say, everything that has y in it to the left side of the equation and everything with x to the right side of the equation. So you can do that by dividing by y to the power of 3. 1 over y to the power of 3 dy equals 3x squared dx. And as you can see, we have now separated the differential equation. The left side only depends on y. The right side only depends on x. So next we integrate on both sides of the equation. So I'm going to compute 1 over y to the power 3 dy is the integral 3x squared dx. Now, these are not too difficult because uh, an antiderivative of 1 over y to the power of 3, that's the same as y to the power minus 3. So y to the power minus 2 is an antiderivative. But if I would differentiate, I would get the exponent minus 2. So I have to compensate for that. So I get minus 1 over 2 y to the power minus 2 equals, and this becomes x to the power of 3 plus some integration constant that I call c. Um, so next, what I'm going to do is rewrite this a little bit. So let's multiply both sides of the equation with minus 2. Then I find uh, y to the power of minus 2 equals minus 2x to the power of 3. And then I could write minus 2c, but this is an arbitrary constant. So instead, I'm going to say plus c1, and c1 is a, a new constant equal to minus 2c, if you like. So what I have now is that apparently y squared, so I'm going to put it upside down, equals 1 over minus 2x to the power 3 plus c1. Um, and what I haven't used yet is the initial condition here y0 equals minus 5. So by using that, I will be able to find the constant c1 in here. But before I do that, I would not like to have y squared, but y. So taking the square root, I find that y equals, and then you should take care here, if you take the square root, it can be the plus or minus the square root. So plus or minus the square root 1 over minus 2x to the power 3 plus c1. Okay. So next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the initial condition. So if I plug in x equals 0, then the function should become minus 5. So that tells me that here I should take the negative, the minus sign, because only then I can end up with a minus 5. And then to get to the 5, that's going to give me the C1 here. So let's see. Um, let me get some more 
space to write on. So what I found is that y equals plus or minus square root 1 over minus 2x to the power 3 plus c1. And next I'm going to be using that y0 equals minus 5. So that immediately tells me that I need to pick the minus sign. So I have y equals, and let me write it like this, minus 1 over square root minus 2x to the power 3 plus c1. And if I now plug in x equals 0, then I should find 5. So minus 5 equals minus 1 over square root 0 plus c1. So apparently the square root of c1 should be 1 over 5. So c1 equals 1 over 25. So the conclusion is that the function that we're looking for, y equals minus 1 over square root minus 2x to the power 3 plus 1 over 25. And that answers the question. So let's have a look at the previous slide to see if the answer is indeed among the options given there. And we see that indeed we have answer C is the same, minus 1 over the square root. And I just swapped around, oops, I just swapped around the um, 1 over 25 and minus 2x to the power 3. But that's the same answer. So C is the correct answer to this question. I hope it was all clear and I'll see you in the next one.